So your fire stick looks great when it's set up, but you have to set it up first. And in less than 15 minutes, I'm gonna help you do just that fresh from the box. Now to make things easy and convenient for you, I've added timestamps or chapters to this video. This way you can watch the important stuff that you wanna see and not the stuff you don't. So now let's start things off by assembling your fire stick. All right, so starting off super simple, you gotta put the batteries in your remote control, otherwise your remote's not gonna work. Put your cover on and then your remote is ready to go. Now take your Amazon Fire Stick and simply take the HDMI to USB port, put the USB to a USB adapter into one another. And this way it is now compatible with the HDMI on your actual TV. Now this is optional. If you want extended memory, so that way you can record a lot more, I'd advise a higher USB. And then you wanna get these OTG cables to be connectable together. You take your USB stick, you connect it to the OTG through USB port. And then what you're gonna be doing is taking your additional cable here and attaching it to your fire stick like you see there. And that way you have an additional memory and I'll leave that in the link in the description below. And so now that your fire stick is assembled, let's get you set up on your television so you can actually start using it. All right, so the first thing you need to do is choose your language preference. So for me, I'm in Canada, so I'm gonna choose English Canada, and then it scans for your Wi-Fi username. So you choose the one you want, and then you have to enter your password for your actual Wi-Fi. After this, it'll connect to your actual internet, and you'll see connection successful to know that it worked. And then it's gonna start checking for updates. So the downloading the latest software, this took about three minutes for this transaction to be completed. So then it's gonna restart for a few seconds. You don't wanna do anything. You let it restart on its own, but then when it does, it's installing the latest software update. So this one took longer. This one took about seven minutes, but I made it go faster so you guys don't have to have the pain of that. Then you're gonna see the Fire TV with the little Fire icon coming back and forth. And then it's gonna be scanning for the networks, but this time it's because it's connecting to it and it's checking for the latest update again. And in this case scenario, I sped it up again, but it was about five minutes, so it was a little bit less. Now this step is super important. You need to sign into your Amazon account. Once you do, do it from your phone. When you do that, go to amazon.ca forward slash code and enter the activation code that you'll be prompted to set up. As soon as you enter that code, it will automatically pick it up from your phone to your TV and continue to work. So it'll say you're welcome, you say continue. Do you wanna remember your password, yes or no? You can enable parental control, yes or no? So we click no and then you prepare your remote. So this part's pretty cool, it does a sound test. So you can do your sound test and have your remote programmed. I will also let you know your power button will be defaulted to the Amazon remote that you come standard with the actual Fire Stick. So next you wanna choose your streaming apps. So you can choose whatever one you want defaulted on your screen. All you do is select it, go to the right, select the next one if you want one. In our case, we didn't want it. Go to the next one, choose let's say NHL, and then so on and so forth. So then again, going to the right, popular one. So I decided to go with Spotify because I love Spotify. And then I'm gonna click on finish. After this, it's introducing just a few different news information. You click OK, and then who's watching? So you select your profile. And then right then and there, you're automatically defaulted to your screen and it takes about 15 minutes. And there you go. In less than 15 minutes, you are now assembled on your Fire Stick and you are ready to go ahead and use it. And stick around for future videos on where I'll show you how you can download certain things onto your Fire Stick.